I've been having some YouTube video problems, so I'm gonna give it another try. Let's do another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, this is two trips to the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of this huge bag that I have next to me. So the first thing that I wanna show you are these. I got these tumblers, two different kinds. I got them at Dollar Tree, like I said, and I'm going to fill them, I think, with candy and maybe some earbuds or like erasers, just some small things um, for my fifth graders. So I don't have very many this year, so I've got all of those for my fifth graders. And right now I have them stored inside this really cute basket, which I'm gonna use for my Better Hearing and Speech Month goodies that I'm gonna put in the teacher's mailbox area. So I've got those ready to go. I just have to get the candy when the time comes. So put those to the side. Like I said, this is two, two trips to the Dollar Tree. So I got these, I got some wooden paddle, or excuse me, wooden paddles, um, dry erase paddles. So you can write on these and they can show their answers. We like to do a lot of competitions, so I thought that was cute. I got these, they're just a uh, reminder and you can put speech sounds, fluency strategies, anything really that you wanna remind them of. I have these at school and my friend had admired them and taken some uh, to use with her students. So I thought I would get her her own pack as a surprise. So Brittany, these are for you. The next thing that I got was this dry erase die, dice. And I make labels with my label maker since the dry erase will just rub off when they touch it. So that's pretty cool. I got these. These are for um, my Fun Friday snacks. If you watch my Fun Friday videos, you'll see that I do a snack choice for my pre-K classes on Fridays. And I put the snacks in here. I was reusing, I was using um, disposable containers, but I thought I'd give these a try. So 12 for a dollar, really can't beat that. Then while I was there today, I decided to start to get ready for my Better Hearing and Speech Month contest. I'm going to be having two winners for a trivia contest. So I, so I thought I should get ready with two um, baskets, just some styrofoam there. Two baskets, two winners, a uh, bunch of goodies in each one. So I've got those. And then I started to look for some goodies to put in the baskets. So I found another one of these. So I can use that as a prize. These are always really handy, word walls, sentence strips, vocabulary, these are really good for anything. So I got that. I got some of these, which I had seen on Instagram or somewhere, and I never had seen them before in my store. So these are reading highlighters. I'm going to hold it really close so you can see the student can hold them over the words to highlight. So I got one for me, one for my work wife, my ESE resource teacher across the hall, and two for my prize baskets. Thought that was really cool, something new. These are my absolute holy grail when it comes to uh, organization. I use these for my books. I put the book and all the materials associated with the book inside the folders. It's great for storage. I'll show you next time I'm at school. I picked these up. I have a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, I actually got four. I was thinking about making this as a transportation sensory box. So I don't have these colors, so I went ahead and picked those up. And here's some more of these little containers. Tons of those everywhere. More sentence strips for the giveaway basket. More paddles, some for me, some for the baskets for the teacher giveaway. And then, I got these just because these matched my classroom and I thought they would be really handy. With Better Hearing and Speech Month also comes teacher appreciation. So I got these to make some goodie baskets for some of my teachers that I'm the closest to. Hold on a second. Another one of these, of course, can you tell I'm completely obsessed? I want to give them to everyone I know now and find out tons of ways to use them. So I'm excited about that. Really cute pencil pouch. I like to use it for storage inside binders, inside baskets, anywhere really. That's awesome. And these were from my first trip to the store. These are um, magic erasers. I cut them in half. I use them for cleaning toys, cleaning desks, cleaning the classroom, cleaning anything the kids touch really. This also can get permanent marker off of your desks or really anything, permanent marker off of anything. So. Sometimes I write things on the desk with dry erase. This will get that off too. So this matches the colors of my classroom. I don't have a setup 
purpose for this right now, but I just loved it and I've never seen these before, so I wanted to go ahead and grab that. And the last thing I got is kind of strange. Um, this past weekend, I went with my family to an escape room. Um, I don't know if you've played that, but basically it's mysteries, clues, puzzles, these things that you have to solve that are really uh, complicated. I'm not great at stuff like that, but I'm all for uh, having fun, so I gave it my best shot. We did not escape from the escape room, but we tried. And I was thinking that I would try to make my own escape room for my third, fourth, and fifth graders. And it wouldn't be exactly like escape room, but it would be like an escape game. So I looked on Teachers Pay Teachers, and lo and behold, there is a store called the, I think it's the Escape Classroom. If you just search them, you'll find they have math, ELA, different types of uh, strategies, different kinds of topics that they have escape games for. So I downloaded, I purchased um, third through fifth grade context clues. So their suggestions included envelopes, for the clues and I actually found I have seen them there before and I wondered what the heck you were gonna put in something that's so small I mean this is my hand for comparison it's tiny I mean this is like what a toddler would use to play with is this supposed to be a real toolbox for adults I can't even imagine so I had seen these before and I thought what are what is anyone gonna do with those and then I thought aha escape game I know what I can do with those so if you can believe it, they actually sell a $1 lock that I'm going to try to put on this. So it comes with the key. You can see it right there. Um, and I'm going to integrate these both into an escape type game for my third through fifth graders. So I'm not sure how it's going to work because they are made for um, a full size class as far as I can tell. And my largest group is eight. So I'm thinking of doing like a teams thing where they have to you know race against each other and against the clock. So. I've got a lot of prep work ahead of me this weekend. I'm going to try to do it in the sessions next week because it definitely takes a lot of prep after I looked at it. So um, I'll let you know how that goes. Definitely going to do a video on that once it's all coming together. This is sort of the uh, preparation for it. So I've got my locks. I've got two of these. And like I said, I've got my envelopes. And then the download uh, comes with the clues, the instructions, a video, answer sheet, everything explained with photographs. So. For the money that I paid, I'm hoping that it's worth my while and that the kids really enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.